person that entered there? Huh? Who was the first person? You that came late. You want to raise your hand? After the meeting, I'll, I'll, you, I'm owing you one ton ton. Eh? To make your Olu wear. God bless you. Why you put said? Why you put said to wear? Eneka? So you're going to Eneka on Sunday. I will join you. Eh? I mean, you, you, I think you're preaching. You're conducting. You're reading. Hmm. Yeah, you're improving now. So, congratulations. We want to welcome uh, our sister, the driver of today. Another person than a very wonderful, very international in nature, very Nicodemusly in appearance, and very beautiful artist in our own time. No other person than our sister Helene Nkume. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a good thing to be in the presence of God. And the Bible says in the presence of God there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand the pleasures forever. Hallelujah. Shall we rise to our feet? As we invite the presence of God into our midst. For without him we can do nothing. Hallelujah. You were God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You were God all by yourself. You were God. You were God from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you were God all by yourself oh you were God you were God from beginning to the for argument you were God all by yourself I just want to say that my own has shame. I just want to say that my We just want to say, we just want, we just want to say, Baba, Baba, we're saying thank you, Lord. We just want, we just want to say, Baba, we're Let's open our mouth briefly and begin to bless the name of the Lord. 
of a truth our God has been so faithful he's been so kind he has been a wonderful God he's a God that never change a God that never lie a God that keeps to his word and today he has fulfilled his word in our lives we are in the land of the living not because of our making not because we are too righteous not because we have lived up to expectation but because of his love and kindness towards us because of his grace he has kept you and me now is opportunity to say father thank you for everything thank you for this great opportunity to live bless the name of the lord because he alone is god he is the giver of life there is none like him open your mouth and say father thank you for today we give you all the glory we give you all the honor father we bless you and we give you all the praise because you are faithful thank you for this great opportunity to be alive in the land of the living we say lord be your exalted in the name of jesus for all that you have done and all that you were doing and all that you continue to do in our lives we say thank you begin to thank god for your families thank him for he is indeed a great god say father thank you for even our families that you have kept everybody is intact i tell you if you're sick you will not be here if one thing or the other has befallen you you will not be here but god has been faithful to keep you all the way in every ramification he has kept you in that why not say father thank you we praise your name for our families we give you praise that we thank you because of god you have been so faithful that you have kept to everything that you have promised us we say thank you thank you lord we give you all the glory begin to use this time to say father in all the ways that i have sinned against you for the bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of god begin to say father in any way that i have held against you in any way that i've fallen short of your glory lord have mercy is the time for you to go before his presence and ask that he pardon you once again there are times we may want to be so careful not to fall but one thing or the other will cause us to fall but god is faithful and just to forgive us it doesn't matter how little you may see the sin to be but nothing no sin is little before him say father have mercy have mercy forgive me give me time for amendment of life we have gathered unto the lord not unto any man but unto him who is our maker unto him who has called us begin to commit tonight's gathering to the hands of the lord say father we are here for you again okay? is a midweek miracle revival service begin to pray and say father let our coming tonight not be in vain tonight not be in vain but having come into your presence Lord may I not go the same way I came commit everything that we are going to do tonight into the hands of the Lord the prayer section the praise section the word everything and the ministers that the Lord is going to minister, uh, is going to use tonight. Ask that the Lord will use each and every one to his praise and glory tonight. May we not see them, but we will see the presence of God moving through them to us. God has set aside this day for you and me. The Bible says it's the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad. Pray that God will visit you even tonight. Whatever you have come with,
no matter the burden, no matter the pain, no matter the sickness, whatever it be, but having come into the presence of God, begin to pray and say, Father, I will not live the same way I came. Let there be a touch. Let there be something different tonight. Tonight is going to be an exception. It's going to be a power-packed night. Pray that God, everything that he has in store for us tonight will not elude us. That we shall all receive it. Thanking him that we came. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We are not ignorant of their gathering. But the Bible has given us an assurance said that surely of gathering they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, it said they shall scatter. Begin to pray and say, Father, wherever they are gathered against our meeting tonight, let the Lord locate and scatter them. Begin to make this environment unconducive for them. Ask that the presence of God will take over everything. That there will be room for the enemy to penetrate. Let the Lord surround us even with his fire tonight. Tonight is going to be a night of failure for the enemy. And tonight is going to be a night of victory for you and for me tonight. Only if you believe. Ask the Lord to have his way once again. Let him rain down his power in our midst. As we progress in this service tonight, let the Lord have his way. Begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon this place, upon your spirits, upon your soul, upon your body, upon every of the instrument that will be used tonight. The blood of Jesus, that blood that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Let it speak for us tonight. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And so our Father will thank you once again. We appreciate you for this great opportunity given unto us. To gather in your presence. Father, we thank you, O oh God, because we are among the living. We thank you because we have found ourselves in your sanctuary tonight. That we ask, O oh God, tonight that everything we do will bring praise and glory to your name and blessings will be ours in the name of Jesus. Have your way, O oh God. And be that we exalted. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. If somebody is happy to be in the presence of God, shout a bigger amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the Lord once again with a quality clap of rain. Our God is able to do all things. Our God is a faithful God. He has brought us once again into his presence. Hallelujah. We're going to a section of praise and worship. Amen. Amen. Receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, O oh God. Glory and honor we bring unto you. 
receive our praise, O oh God. Father, receive our praise. Receive our praise, O oh God. Oh Lord, receive our praise. Receive our praise, O oh God. All the glory, glory and honor we bring unto you. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Receive our praise, receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, O oh God. Glory and honor we bring unto you. Receive our praise, O oh God. Daddy, receive our praise, receive our praise, O oh God. Oh Lord, receive our praise. And honor we bring unto you. Receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, O oh God. Glory and honor we bring unto you. Receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, Father. Receive our praise, Father. Receive our praise, Father. All the glory, glory and honor we bring unto you. Receive our praise, O God. Now there in our cheek, could he you could imagine all the gigas you could imagine you could imagine oh yeah when my rama that you could imagine what Jesus will see us through. No 
no matter, no matter what the devil may do, I know I have a confidence. I have a confidence. I have a confidence that Jesus will see. That Jesus will see a truth, no matter what the devil may do. Oh, we have a confidence. Oh, we have a confidence. We have the confidence. Oh, we have the confidence that Jesus will see. He will see us through all situations. No matter what the devil may do. Oh, we have a confidence. We have the confidence. Jesus will see us through, no matter what the devil may do, I know I have a confidence, he may, he may not, he may not, he may not, he may not,
Your hands up to the Lord. He said he knows the thought he has towards you. They are thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you a hope and a future. Hallelujah. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. Oh, my Something that 
heavens be coming to your presence. Lord, Lord, we lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. Kaya, we lift your name. How God we lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name, higher. 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 Brethren, let's begin to worship the name of God. Begin to appreciate God for His goodness and mercies upon our life. Begin to appreciate Him because He's awesome. Begin to reverence our God. There is none to be compared with Him. Open your mouth and appreciate our God. You are alive in the land of the living today. It's not because you are alone woke you up. Just the mercy of God. Begin to appreciate this God. Honor this God. Glorify God. There is no one like unto our God. There is no one to be compared with Him. Oya na buboro fo na zubora san chan chan bibi ne dogwe olori 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 yi akumbo aru bo ba ha ya obaka ja ma meri bunke ya obo ti akwe ti aku oji nka te ku miri won ye to nu fine pro to fine baby boy oji oya ge ti tunyere gi oji oya yiri ki chineke ai na bu ni ge nu ai na ja ge ma ai na si ki chi si ni ne ai na si ku bu ni ne ai na si ka ma si ni ne ai na si can be the new name. Teach us how to get baby, baby, baby. Ah, Jesus. He put you on your dim. He put you on your dike. He put out on Omega Mo. Oye mbuno ni bazu. Mani zeno gugu. Ya kampi no si. Jesus. 
Jesus name we pray brethren I want us to uplift all the ministers of the word of God on his throne of mercy this evening ask God to refresh the anointing on daily basis that no minister will ever dance on past glory oh begin to commit them unto the hands of God that none of God will, none of them will serve as a, a, a conductor as a borrow that Lord a vehicle and will never be there that the word of God they preach will never stand against them on the last day begin to call on God call on God they need our prayers they need our prayers. Ask God to take control over all the ministers. Refresh the anointing on daily basis. That the anointing shall be refreshed on daily basis. There are lots of things, a lot of things that discourage them in this ministry. Ask God to give them grace that they will not be discouraged. Rather, they will continue till end. Sometimes the enemy tries to attack them through their children. Ask God to take control, to build the wall of fire around about all their children. That none of their children shall dwell. That none of their children shall dwell. That none of them shall be a disgrace to the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, at this point, let us begin to uplift before the throne of mercy of God. As many that are sick, as many that are sick, open your mouth and pray all these prayer points. As many that are sick, those in the hospital, those in their various homes, even our sister's husband, prosper. Ask God to take control. One of our sisters, the husband is also in the hospital with stroke. Ask God to release his healing power upon them. Ask God to release his healing power upon them. Ask God to release his healing power upon them. There are laws that are sick that we cannot mention their names. But one thing is sure. Ah, one thing is sure. There is still balm in Gilead. There is still balm in Gilead. Jesus is saying yesterday, today, and forever. He healed the blind. He healed them. And he can never see his people and change. Ask God to release his healing power. He can still do all things. Ask God to visit them. Those that are in the hospital, ask God to visit them. To discharge them today. Ask God to discharge them. Ask God to discharge them. Ask God to discharge them. There is no impossibility with our God. He can do all things. It is settled in Jesus' name. Brethren, at this point in time, I want us to bring before the throne mercy of God. Our youths, a lot of them will be going to write down, starting from this week. Ask God to show mercy. Ask God to show mercy. To give them retentive memory. Even in the course of going to their stations, there shall be no record of any accident. There shall be no kidnap case. There shall be no misfortune. That they shall go there successfully. The computer, the computer shall not disappoint them. Everything shall work out to their own glory. That their scores will be so wonderful. Ask God to do it. There is nothing he cannot do. Open your mouth and talk to God. God shall see them through. He shall lead them safely. He shall do all things for our students. That their joy shall abound. Ask God to also take control over all our youths in school. Those are the verge of joining any court. That God will turn them round to come remember the the foundations of their home. Any of our youths in any school that is at the verge of joining any cause, we decree as a house, let there be a turn around in Jesus' name. Any girl that is about to go to the road because of money, we decree as a house, let there be a turn around in the name of Jesus. Father, there is nothing you cannot do. Begin to pray. For as many as are pregnant, Declare living babies to living mothers. Living babies to living mothers. Living babies to living mothers. Declare living babies to living mothers. Living babies to living mothers. The mothers shall be alive to carry their babies. So the glory of our God in Jesus' name. Brethren, honestly, whenever we mention this prayer point, it touches my heart. If you are a woman, maybe you just get married the next month. 
you see yourself with bad pregnancy, you will not understand. I want us to bring as many that are crying for the blessing of the womb. Ask God to remember them. All the prayer points we have prayed for them this year, that before December, there shall be testimonies. Before December, there shall be great testimonies. Jesus, now we pray. Brethren, our God is the owner of life. And it's always his will that we live and testify his goodness. Begin to decree. As many that are marked for death in this year 2024, we begin, begin now to erase that mark with the blood of Jesus. Erase every mark of death upon any member of this church. Erase it with the blood of Jesus and put the mark of life. Use the blood and put the mark of life. We are, shall be no loss, especially prematurely. We shall not lose a child. We shall not lose a youth. We shall not use a father. We shall not use a mother. There shall be no loss in a man Anglican church of Coronado. In a Coronado Atikin, God shall preserve our lives. God shall preserve our life. Most importantly, we shall not die in sin. Ask God to do it for us. Ask God to do it for us. There is no impossibility with our God. He can do all this. Whatever decree they have passed, open your mouth now. Any declaration they have made against us from our father's home from our mother's home, wherever there are past any decree, whatever that has been happening, whatever that is the repetition, whatever our parents suffered, open your mouth right now and begin to decree that you will never be affected with whatever that affected your parents. Begin to decree. Don't keep your mouth shut. Our God can do all things. He's listening to us. Just open your mouth and say it and he will answer you. Begin to cover any bit that they dug for any of us. Begin to cover back the bit. Begin to cover it. And we're going to jump the pit and pass. Those that dug that pit, if they refuse to cover it, they shall fall into their own pit. Begin to decree it. As long as your hands are clean, as long as you plan no evil against any man, as many that will plan evil against any member of Emmanuel Agriculture or Coronado, Makaya Sekerebo, they shall test it by themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I prayed my prayer, Lord Jesus answered me. I prayed, I prayed, oh, I prayed my prayer, Lord Jesus answered me. It is well with my soul. One never bere, Jim never gazagio. One never bere, boy a seragi ke. One never bere, no gadi ma me mesia o ma zuru ake. Ibu china ke ibu imadu.
What is that thing that brings tears to your eye? Our God is able to do all things. Wipe away those tears by telling God what it is. I'm assuring you tonight if you believe that God will answer you. He said, call upon me in the days of your trouble and I will be there for you. He said, cast all your bodies upon me and I will take care of you. He's the same God. He has not changed. What is that thing that is bringing tears to your eyes? Brother, sister, call on God tonight. Call on God tonight and believe it in your heart. And you will come and testify. Our God can do all things. He can do all things. Our prayers are answered in Jesus' name. Everlasting King of glory. The I am that I am. The God that can do all things. There is no impossibility with you. Your word says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Your children have come before you, Lord. May they be delivered. Whatsoever that is troubling any heart here. Father, solve that problem in Jesus' name. Those that are crying for money, that they call, you are the richest. All the riches, they belong to you. That they begin to visit us according to our problems in Jesus' name. Meet us at the points of our needs in Jesus' name. May no soul leave you out the same in Jesus' name. That trouble be dropped at your feet tonight in Jesus' name. That body, that sickness, that sorrow. I know you have done it. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. For in Jesus' most powerful name we have prayed. And let the children of God say... Hallelujah. Be seated. We bless the name of the Lord for another week to be in his presence. I want to also appreciate our daddy and the Lord who gave me this opportunity to stand in for someone who was supposed to be here today. You who decided to be in God's presence One thing, Bible said in his presence there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore no one comes into the presence of the Lord and goes back empty you are here as much as you are here with all your heart and you came with expectation be rest assured that our God is here. He will meet your expectations. In the name of Jesus. Let's open to the book of uh, 1 Kings. Chapter 3. I want to do a textual exhortation this evening. 1 Samuel. Sorry, 1 Kings. Chapter 3. Beginning at verse 16. First Kings 3, 16. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, O my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house. And I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also. And we were together there. We were together. There was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thy handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son which I did bear. Take note of that. 
And the other woman said, No, but the living is my son. And no, but the dead is thy son. And the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. Then said the king, the one said, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is dead. And in the other said, Nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one and half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king, for her boy yearned upon her son, and she said, O oh my lord, give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be, did I mind nor dine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. This is the word of the Lord. The topic of this brief exhortation says, this child is not mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This child is not mine. Uh -uh. Why is she saying this child is not mine? Something happened that two women gave birth just like we read. But along the line, because of carelessness, the other one overlaid the child, her own child. And the child died. Can you see how trickish people can be? She stood up and did exchange. Gave her own, she knows very well that her own child is dead. But she decided to exchange it with the living child. Unknowing to the, to the mother. Carelessness. I, I overworked today. It was too much on me. She overslept. And left the child at the mercy of the evil woman. And she exchanged the dead child. The woman said, I stood up to feed my child, to breastfeed my child. I saw that she was already, he was already dead. But when morning came, I considered very well. I said, no, this is not my child. And that is where I am coming. She considered and said, this child is not mine. Brethren, why this topic? There is power in confession. And you saw at the end, that woman that said, I considered, I know that this is not what God has given to me. The living child was what? Restored and given to her. We are surrounded with wicked people. These two persons have been staying together of which they are supposed to be friends. They are supposed to look upon, supposed to look to each other. They are supposed to be keepers. But this woman was envious. How can me now carry that child and then go? No, 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 no. It can't. Beloved, many children, many destinies has been exchanged at the altar of carelessness. At the altar of laziness. At the altar of laxity. 
At the altar of it doesn't matter. At the altar of art, not be my own. Many children, many destinies have been destroyed. Because we feel that ah, the thing, the burden is too much on me. And you feel, let me leave it. Ah, let it be. And the enemy capitalizes on that and begins to operate. Until you rise up and consider. Until you stand to your feet and consider. And tell yourself, this is not mine. I'm not talking just about a charge. Your destiny, it could be your health. Something is going wrong and you are accepting it. This is my sickness. Something is going wrong and you are accepting it. This marriage, this is my husband. You know that a child is misbehaving. Instead of you to consider and rise up and say, no, my womb cannot produce this. This is not my child. This is not my health. This is not my marriage. This is not my integrity. There is something God has embedded in me. And I am seeing it is already going. This is not my child. The husband, the man has begun to misbehave. The man has begun to keep late. And you are there complaining. Instead of you to rise up and consider and tell yourself, this is not my husband. This is not the person I used to know. Something has happened somewhere. And even when the other woman was persistent, let us divide. The woman persisted. He said, instead of dividing this child, give the child to her. Let me go and settle it with the Lord. Instead of destroying the destiny of this child. No. And this is when you know the yearning, the pain of motherhood. Beloved, while our sister was leading in prayer, he said pray for the youth. Pray for her children. In Genesis, God said something. He said, thy seed shall do what? Bruise the heel of the serpent. And then, the serpent will do what? Bruise. Abby, what? The heel. Try. We bite the heel. And when your heel is being beaten, you can't walk. You are crippled. You are paralyzed. You can't do anything. Beloved, the serpent is biting the heels of our children. At the altar of we are going helter skelter, looking for what those children will eat. To be, I think, to take care of them. And at the end, after that, we are a day. Instead of our seed. Bruising the head of the serpent. The serpent is busy biting our kids, our seeds. After all the pains of nine months. After all the anxiety on the men. And we allow things just go like that. That is what we see in Nigeria. What thing we go do? No, enough of that statement. I was discussing with one of our fathers this afternoon. I was saying that what pains him so much is that we, in fact we have, we have already concluded the nature of Nigeria. It's every time he will refer to Nehemiah. Where Nehemiah was fighting, Nehemiah was praying, Nehemiah was building, at the same time there was sword in the other side. No be so Bible talk. <laughs> But we, ha we, ha we, have been so, we have become so complacent as in, let it be. That is what we meant. That is how it is. Nehemiah stood his ground. While praying, he was carrying his arm. He was armed. If they come this way, we will give them. Until Christians rise up to utilize the wisdom God has given unto them, nothing will happen in Nigeria. 
Until we rise up to stand and fight for our rights. Christianity is not foolishness. You are saying the child is going astray. You are saying that something is going wrong. I don't talk now. What I go do? The child is dying in sin. The child is about to slip off your hand. The child is about to become a corpse. A living corpse. Yet you are saying, now waiting their time, they talk. God forbid. The woman said, this is not my child. I know. This is not what God has given me. Beloved, the destiny of our children, the destiny of our marriage, the destiny of our family is worth fighting for. If it will take you to go on your to go on dry fast, go, you will not die in hunger. To ensure you restore the destiny of that child. Whatsoever it will take you to fight to ensure that that child is being restored is worth fighting for because when the glory will come tomorrow it is to you the woman said this is not my child I don't know what you have already accepted inside of you you have accepted defeat it happened to my parents it's in our lineage is inherited. Who told you? So because it happened to your elder sister, because it happened to your mother, because it happened to your siblings, must it happen to you? No! You are a separate person altogether. There is something that separates you as a child of God. The day you surrendered your life to Christ, a bloodline has been crossed. The blood of Jesus is now your lineage. You are no longer the blood. The blood of that family is no longer running inside of you. And when you need them to pray, say, Father, the thing, negative things that have happened in that family, the family pattern that Lord is going on, as it stands, I have been separated. There is a bloodline that has been drawn. It is not mine. That is where I'm coming from. It is not mine. This negative pattern is not mine. Though is in my lineage, though is in my family, but it's not mine. Sudden death, yes, I can hear the news, I can hear the rumor, but yet it is not mine. The economy of Nigeria is shaking. There is famine, there is hunger everywhere, yet it is not mine. Isn't it when others will be saying, casting down. What will happen? You will be saying, lifting up. There is a lifting up. But until you confess it, until you recognize it, until you tell yourself, you see, for this one, it's not my own. Then God will now arise to do something. He is just waiting for you. He's just waiting for you. And that was when this woman made this statement. This statement touched the king. The statement touched the king. I said, well, bring. He used the wisdom. He said, bring. Let's divide the living child. Since this one says, it's not mine. That was when the, 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 the mercy of a, of a mother, the blood flowing between the, the two, began to speak. Beloved, what have you abandoned? At the mercy of, I have cried too much. It's okay. It's over. Beloved, it is not over yet. It is not over yet. Because the Lord is still working out his purpose in that situation. It's not over yet. All you will do is just to rise up to your feet and shake off the dust. And tell yourself, you see this situation, it is not mine. The children of Israel found themselves is such a mess. Let's look at Second Kings chapter 2. They found themselves in such situation. 
We are struggling. Nothing is happening. In 2 Kings chapter 2, beginning at verse 19. 2 Kings 2, 19. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee. The situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord said. But the water is not. And the ground what? Barren. Some translation will say the ground unproductive. And he said, Bring me a new cruise and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there and said, Thus says the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters we are healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he speak. Praise the Lord. They recognize that something wrong was going on in the land. This land was under curse. It is a very strategic place. It is situated in a very good place. But why is there no productivity? These children have grown to the level of getting married. They are beautiful. They have read. They are educated. Why are they not getting married? They have labored in the universities. They have graduated. Some are having PhD. Some are having their master's degree. So you can't say, you know, they are lacking in any. Why are they not married? That is the same thing. The land, the city is well placed in a pleasant place. But the water is bitter. The ground is unproductive. I have done all I could. Yet, it's as if nothing. The land is unproductive. The land is barren. The business is situated in a very good position. A very strategic place. Yet, customers are not forthcoming. You sit from morning to night. Nothing happens. The land is bitter. The land is unproductive. You have been in that office. For years, new ones will come and they will be promoted. But for you, you are there, stagnant. What is happening? I am working, I am doing it, but the water is bitter. The land is barren. They came to Elisha and told him all. Because they opened up. Because they recognized what was happening. And they spoke. And Elijah walked on what they have said. Are you bottling up things? Even when they say pray about this, you are busy. Eh, Holy Ghost fire. Eh, eh. Recognize that thing and tell the Lord, this is it. This is where the problem is. This is where the problem is. This is the root of the matter. One of the Wednesdays in a, in a prayer meeting, our prayer and fasting. I talked about the irony of Abiata. Abiata was the great grandson of Eli. He was the son, direct son of um, Ahimelech, the priest. But do you know that the curse that was laid during the time of Eli, because the two sons of Eli committed atrocities in the house of the Lord. And the Lord laid a curse on them. That curse passed the first generation. It didn't affect them. Passed the second generation. And it located Abiata, the great grandson. And this Abiata was a priest. When you hear in the Bible, if any king, especially David, he's going out for war, he will say, Call Abiata. Let him, you know, inquire. Of the Lord. The fact that he was a priest, the fact that he was sitting in the house of God, 
did not <laughs> stop the curse. Why did he not stop? Because he never recognized what was happening in his lineage. Beloved, until you recognize, until you come to know that this thing is happening, it has happened in this third generation, it has happened in this one, you see for this one, it is not mine. That is why people are coming to church, they still remain the same. Until you stand and tell yourself and that situation, nah, if you don't catch other people, you don't come the wrong place. You are not mine. I don't know if your prayer has been a kind of prayer of pleading. Prayer of I beg now. I think you hear what they talk today. You hear this prayer where they say, make you pray. Leave me alone now. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, one uh, late pastor Lukumi in Logos Ministry. Then yes, he was preaching and he said some people when they tell them bind the devil, speak to the devil. They say devil. I think you hear what him Pastor Lukumi say. He say make I bind you. I beg, find your way. Come out from where are they? This is not the prayer we are talking about. It's the prayer of anchor, knowing whom you are and say, no, this one is not mine. The woman knew herself. The woman knew what God has given to her. The, new woman, the woman knew the potential in her. He, she knew and she said, this child is not mine. Brethren, what has the devil stolen from you? And you kept calm. And you are crying. It's not time to cry. It's not time to weep. In Revelation chapter 5, was, an angel was saying, who will open the seal? Everywhere is locked up. Who? There was a noise. Who will open? Who will open? <laughs> and a voice came from heaven and said, What? Weep no more. For the lion of the tribe of Judah. Weep no more. Beloved, do not be that cast. Rise up. Weep no more. It's not time to cry. It's not time to begin to complain at the place of prayer. It's a time to know your authority. It's a time to stand and say no to that negative occurrence. As you rise, just take up your Bible. Open that place. Revelation 5. Revelation 5. Rise up as we read together. Hmm. Revelation 5 from verse 2. Let's go. One to go. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Five. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Let us pray. You have wept. You have cried. You have been bittered. You have been pained. You have been asking yourself, how will it be? He said, no man was found worthy. Even in your family, even in your lineage, you have sought for help, but no help. Help is coming from nowhere. <laughs> The voice of that elder is saying to you this evening, Weep no more. Weep no more. For the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, he is there. He is there for you. Can you say, Father, come to my aid. Come to my aid. I depend on you, Lord. Enough. I have cried enough. 
I have wept. I have complained. I have mourned in this matter. Lord, ah, ah, come, prevail over this matter. The root of David, uh, prevail over this matter. Prevail over this situation. Because nothing man can do anymore. Nigeria has gone beyond the help of man. Nigeria has gone beyond the help of any technology. We need God to prevail. We need God to prevail in our country. We need God to prevail in our families. We need God to prevail over the situations. We need God's prevailing. We need him, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Let him prevail over that matter. Let him prevail over that destiny that the enemy has taken over from you. The enemy has stolen your joy. The enemy has stolen your glory. The enemy has stolen your productivity. The enemy has stolen your proficiency. The enemy has stolen your sufficiency. Everything about you has been broken, has been stolen. You are kept empty. You are dry. Can you say, Father, prevail over this matter? Tell that matter, confront that matter this night and say, this is not mine. Mention the name. Is it sickness? Is it that child? That child that is misbehaving? Tell the Lord, this child is not mine. This is not the child you gave to me. You did not give me a rebellious child. This is not my child. With the wife that is misbehaving, call her name and say, this wife is not mine. This is not the woman you gave me. On that day that I walked through the aisle and Lord, you joined us. This is not the person I used to know. Ah. Speak to that poverty. Speak to that lifestyle that I've refused to leave you. Say it is not mine. This pattern I have already seen in my lineage is not mine. It's not my own. I reject it from today. I reject it always. It is not mine. Delay. Delay. Barrenness. Unproductivity. It's not mine. Lord, I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. Reject those negative occurrences. Reject that sickness. Reject those negative situations. Tell yourself, this is not mine. Ah. The lion of the tribe of Judah, he is able. Tell the Lord, clean up this mess from me. Enough of this mess, Lord. Enough of this insult. Enough of this ridicule. I know I have made mistakes. Just like the woman made the mistake. She overlaid her child. She slept over her. She slept over. Yes, sir. Even in that means, the means of my mistake, Lord. Prevail. Prevail. Intervene, Lord. Ah, enough of this mess. Enough of this proverb. Don't you know that woman? Don't you know that man? The name, the name has gone. But you are being, you are being described with that issue facing you. Say, Father, it is not mine. <laughs> I'm sure people are praying with anger in the spirit. Mm. He can do it again. If he did it, use the earthly king to settle that woman. The Lord, which is the overall king, the king of kings, the mighty man in battle, the judge of all judges, he can intervene. He can prevail. He can give you justice. He will. He will. He will. He will. He can do it again. Again and again and again. Thank you, Father. On a puta woman la piti. Oh, me wakam kuzo ne loke kume. Oh, sinye 
We thank you for blessing us. We pray, O oh God, that these offerings that are lifted before you, that Lord, you will accept it. Let it come to you like a sweet smelling savour. And let it be praised and let it bring blessings unto us in the name of Jesus. Even those that do not have, we pray, O oh God, that Lord, you give them, O oh God, a grace and the opportunity to bring before you that they too, O oh God, will have testimony to testify to your name. We give you all the praise because we know you are God. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do marvelous things for us. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do marvelous things for us. Oh, what a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do marvelous things for us. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do marvelous things for us. He has given us victory, we will lift him higher, Jehovah. I say he has given us victory, we will lift him higher, Jehovah. We will lift him higher. I'll be with you. Just take your seat. Briefly for this brief information, the women uh, department will begin their practice or rehearsal or training for the induction and uh, all the shun shun shun. I'm putting it as a law. Both those of them for. Uh, confirmation from next week from next week Obaleke, you are here huh? and I'm going to say it both on the women and that of the confirmation we are training youths that cannot occupy space in Anglican church we are raising them the youth that will not occupy any space in the future Anglican church. What I mean, the youth are not talking about the AYF. We are raising generation that you will begin to look for men and women in time to come. So, if it is only tax for a good three months, every candidate, whether for confirmation, induction, is also going to be for men until Bishop finish Episcopal visit. You must be attending midweek service. I am going to be very serious about it. Many people will fail. I and my wife will also interview those of them that are coming for induction. I am that chidikim. That is where the trouble is. I am that chidikim and not just ordinary vicar. By this capacity, I will hit you two times. If I fail you as vicar, I will fail you as an archdeacon. 
So you have to be very, uh, you should fear he that will kill the flesh and kill what? The soul. Is it not so? So if I fail you as a vicar, possibly HD King can pass you. But this one, you are now in a dangerous ground. I will fail you as a vicar and I will also fail you as HD King. Bishop will not confirm you. You wait till when I have gone. It's not composite that all of you will, will be confirmed this time. So that we'll have more people that possibly after three years again, when Bishop is coming, Bishop will see people. We must not finish confirming everybody at this time. No, no. Nah. The next vicar and actually king should see people to present to bishop. Nobody said amen. So, but I am very serious about it. My seriousness is that mommy, it is a law. Because our youths don't attend weekly programs. Our youth, those of you for uh, confirmation uh, class, if you are here, raise up your hand. Stand. Stand. You are for confirmation class. Stand. I'll give you this number by tomorrow. I am going to work on it. Huh? The rest will go home by tomorrow. If I sleep and this spirit is still upon me, they will go home tomorrow. Take your number. Take your number. Yes? Four. Five. Another person. Five. Why didn't you raise hand before? Raise again. I don't, I'm not joking. Raise your hands again. One. Two. Three. You four. You four. Uh -huh. Five. Are you there? How many of you? We will teach six of you tomorrow. Okay, okay, six, seven, uh -huh. uh, you, your own, I've known, eight, how many, take note, eight of them, the rest will go home tomorrow, they will miss tomorrow, tomorrow they will go home, we are not staying under the tree, we will stay here, I will, I will be here by tomorrow, Thursday. Women own. My wife will tell them at the beginning. This one will be a surprise. It will be a surprise. If you know that you are here, I have not given you number. Tell me now, by tomorrow evening, I don't want to hear after eight, the rest will go home. Okmaleke, did you hear me? And have you prepared the attendance note? Tomorrow we are teaching only eight. And if they don't come by Wednesday next week, every Wednesday we will give the number. We are not interested. Bishop has a particular number of people that he would like to ordain. The other people and other churches are yet to come. But we are more than 100. We are too much. I want to start elimination series. Only those of them that have gone back to school will be exempted. But those of them that are here, by tomorrow, we'll tell them we have two classes tomorrow. These people will start their midweek. But they will go home tomorrow. I want to also let us know. I think the band, I will have a roster for instrumentalists. Chile will give me a roster from next week. If he doesn't give me a roster, I will start hiring instrumentalists on Wednesday and the church will pay. We have a band that we're also interested in public. Midweek service None of them. The women, they say the uh, what do you call them? Eh? The vocalists are here, but no instrumentalists. No problem. Leave it. 
I will, I will handle that one. For this week, Imo. Where is Imo? No generator for practice. Let them wait till Sunday. If they tell you, tell them to call me. Tell Chile to call me. Did you hear me? Fine. For not attending Wednesday, uh, uh, this thing, they will do voice a uh, voice uh, practice. There will be no, uh, except there is sniper. If you know there is sniper, I will stop the practice this week. I will stop the practice this week. I will, I will take serious action. When is the midweek? Nobody attends Bible study. They don't attend Bible study. But that area that you are serving God, midweek, you will not come. But come practice here by Saturday also. You will see them, they will come. So that we have already gotten the last dessert for the, for the month. We are buying two drums. Try and continue to do your spiritual right. Try to attend programs. Are you blessed this evening? Are you blessed? This is how it is. This is how it is. And uh, as you continue to be in the presence of God, definitely your spirit will be, you know, will be reviving. You are not a bad person. They are not bad. I want to appreciate all of you once again. This is not, this is not Okoronodo. The first three days of the, of the, of the month. In the later days, the, the love of so many will begin to do what? Let your own not go down. Let your own not go down. God will help us in Jesus' name. Coordinator, come on, coordinators to close us. Shall we rise? Daddy, God, come and pray for us. He's one of the men that attends Bible study. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity you gave us to be in your presence this evening. Father, we are about to go. We are not departing from your presence. Guide and protect us in Jesus' name. King of glory, everything that is lacking in our life, because we attend this program, King of glory, let it be full in Jesus' name. Guide and protect every one of us as we are going. No accident, no evil shall befall on us. Give us nice sleep. And the next day, Lord, we come and glorify your name again. Time be almighty. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's shine the grace. All right. Good night. Thank you, the vocalists. Thank you for coming. Thank you for helping us out. God, we continue to bless you. Uh, Alison, thank you too.
Sarah.